On today's episode of the Any Center Podcast, we sit down with the founder and creative director of B-Side Studios, Maurice Prophet. But before we get into that, a word from our sponsors. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Uh, it's free. I could probably end the list right there, but I'm going to continue. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Speaking from personal experience, creating a podcast felt so overwhelming. Uh, I, I didn't know where to start, uh, but using Anchor was a no-brainer. Their website and app is user-friendly. You're able to navigate through it easily. It's pretty cool, guys. Uh, You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. And it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. A one-stop shop. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. All good with sound. Love, love, love. All right, all right. Oh man, where do I begin? Uh, last episode dropped May 25th, my daughter's birthday. We haven't dropped anything since uh, because of the pandemic, because of riots, because of the division that's happened in the country. Um, I didn't feel it was right for, for us to continue and, and sit down with artists and, and talk about their pastimes and, and laugh about their stories when there's bigger issues uh, issues on hand. So I want to apologize for that to, to everybody that's that's listening and and supporting us throughout this entire time. Thank you guys for continuing to support us. Um, we picked the ball back up and we're not gonna fucking stop. That's how I'm gonna leave it. Today, I am joined with my brother, Maurice, the goat prophet <laughs> from B-Side <laughs> Studios. How's it going? Oh, bro. First and foremost, thank you so much for having me on, man. You have no idea how excited I am to be here, to be sitting across from you. We've had communication for like so many months now, yeah. like damn, like a year, yeah. I would say. Yeah, yeah. And now, like, we finally are able to like, you know, be in each other's presence for yeah. the first time and everything. And, and also, in addition to that, uh, I know it's four months removed, but like, happy bir- happiest birthday to your daughter, and congratulations thank on you. your new child as well. Thank too, you, man. thank you. For real, thank you. How, how, how is life? You know, with the with the new bundle of joy at the man, house, bro. It's it's a new way to. Uh, just trying to rebalance myself. I mm. mean, with every child, I have four. I'm about to start a basketball team. Hey, right. <laughs> uh, uh, for for every child, is is a new person to learn about to mm. to learn. You know, so it's 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 challenging at times. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. sleepless nights. You yeah, know, but it's it's rewarding. It's yeah. sort of like a um, like kind of like a renewed energy, I assume. Like, oh yeah, you know, with each child and everything. Yeah. It's like no, wow, like no. Now we hit the reset button. You know, yeah. with, you know, with family. Now we can do this over again. We yeah. can incorporate new, new things. Memories. Right, right, Create right. New memories because we look around the house and we have pictures of. You know, family photos, and mm-hmm. you know, there's always a kid missing. Like, oh man, well, we got to do something again to get, get this kid in there. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, so right. We, we have right. a bunch of those. We have a lot of catching up to do. But yeah. uh, man, it's it's great. It's wonderful. It's a, it's a blessing. Beautiful. But man, it's 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 challenging. But man, it's all worth it. It's all yeah. worth it. But we are here today to talk about a project that we are dropping this week. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. But let, let, let me first of all, first of all, when you when you came to me with this idea that you cooked up yeah, with, yeah. Uh, with with Film Flip, bro, this is exactly what's needed right now because it's innovative, it's new, it's fresh, it's never been done before. The, this is a road that hasn't that hasn't been traveled down, and that's the thing too is that like you know, um, you know I, was, I was talking with Chrissy about this yesterday, and you know we're now in an age where. We have to like you know have a mindset with um, living in the transition yeah. in the transitional world, and what that means is like you know what what once was like popular, what once was the norm, what once was was standard practice. You gotta have to let that go. You have yeah. to go into a new direction with things. So that means new ideas and breathing new breathing life into into new yeah. areas and such. So when you brought this when you brought this idea to me, like you know, bro, like I got this thing cooking up. Blah, 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 immediately I'm like. Holy shit! I need to be a part of this. <laughs> I had to have my hand in this because this is exactly what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's this. This is a, this is amazing. And what's great too, bro, is that like, and it's it's a living testament because everyone that we've we've spoken with, all of the participants, you know, when we talked to them about this and everything, they all the common denominator was through across the board was 
this is different. I love it, and I gotta be a part of this. So yeah, so I'm I'm just equally as stoked about this, bro. Bro, I remember the day before I hit you up, I was just chilling on the couch, and and, and the idea came to mind. I was just jotting it down, and uh, before I went to bed, I was like, oh man, this would be so dope to have you on it. And I lay down. I'm like, should I text him? I felt like uh, like. When, you, when you're trying to text your crush, right? You're like, can I wait? <laughs> Do I wait? Let me, let, me, let, me wait. let me wait. I don't want to see. Do I wait a couple right days? You know what I'm saying? Let me, just, let me just sit on this. Let me just <laughs> right. sit on this. But I woke up the next morning. And I'm like, you know what? No, I'm going to pull the trigger. Let's go for this. This yeah. is, you know, it's 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 like what you said. It's fresh. It's brand new. It's challenging. It's challenging your mind on how to look at film and cinema. Right. Like, I mean, the whole premise of Film Flip, guys, it's to completely convert your favorite film into an entirely new genre. Mm -hmm. Basically taking everything out of context the way America has been ran these past few years, <laughs> right? Like all these snippets of everybody just posting shit that they're, they're saying, but they didn't really mean that way. Yeah, right, um, right. But you know, it's, it's a fresh way, a fresh take to say, man, you love this movie, Goodfellas? Well, check this shit out. Yeah. You, you, love, uh, you love Kill Bill? Check what Telly did. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah. To see what how everybody brought their 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 minds into it and creating something new, it is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. And the cast that we have, a Ooh. part of this project, are you fucking so shitting me? So oh much talent, Oh my man. god! So much talent, and it's 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 wall to it's wall to wall talented people. Um, mounds of creativity as as well too. And what's been really great about this whole thing is like what you said the op. The, the operative word that you said a minute ago was challenging. Mm. And I think that, and, and that's so true because you, you can't just throw just any other, per, any old person into, into this and yeah. expect, you know, gold. You know, you, it has to be people who, are, you know, have like, you know, really creative minds and, and such. And we're seeing that. Yeah. And that's the thing, though, is that like, you know, these creatives are being challenged right now in terms of like, okay, this is a, this is a road that I, I, I typically, I typically do not go down. So how am I going to be able to like navigate myself through this to get to my destination? Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that, you know, boom, boom, left and right from everybody. And I know it's been great for them because like, you know, it's been a, a really great mental exercise for them mm -hmm. to be able to, you know, like channel in something that's different within, within themselves and find it and be able to execute it. So all around, bro, like, you know, it's just really refreshing seeing like, you know, what's coming about this and everything, you know, so it's really working out. Dude. Well. And, 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 you know, it's, to, to talk about the cast that we have on board, I mean, talk about creative minds. We have Artemio Gonzalez that's mm -hmm. been yeah, on yeah. a bunch of skits, doing his own Chilly thing. For, Wood. <laughs> man, he has Hell so yeah. many projects. He, he, oh, he's, he's everywhere. Like, dude, he drops like every day. He's, he's everywhere. <laughs> Seriously. He's like he, in the world G of Chicago. That's what, he's right, everywhere. Right. Like, I swear to God, man. Like, I, I, I swear, because like he makes you feel like you're inadequate because he always is dropping. Even if, like some like, some, like those, those small like little lunchtime uh, little joints he does and everything, which yeah, yeah. I love. You know, it's always something he's putting out there, but he's, yeah. He, and he's always connecting with other people. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I've seen plenty of skits with him and Telly. Telly is on here, too. Yeah. Chantel uh, Johnson? Yes, yes. Amazing. Yeah. She she just rocks it on every skit that she does, and even in New Tie, shout out Dorian Johnson. Dor yeah, hell yeah. You know, the, she does her thing, and it, Chris Haney. Chris mm -hmm. Haney's a part of this, Chris, man. Yeah. Chris Haney, he's my brother. We've been around for years, but he's he's on this, man. I'm, I'm excited. Personally, I'm excited to work with Chris again. Uh, we worked we, we worked briefly last year on Rap Mom because uh -huh. he was he was in one scene in Rap Mom um, last year. And, like, and I, I like what how he I like his like his approach. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, with what he like what he does with his scenes and everything, because he has like a, he has like a very like a very authentic like a very authentic character approach. Yeah. You know, with how he like, you know, um how he approaches things and everything like and, that. And, so he's, cool and he's great and he's great with taking notes. I remember one day we were uh, at acting school and uh he did his monologue and he did this whole shit where he's kicking in the air, saying some shit. Yeah. And I thought that was dope. So I uh, approached him afterwards. I'm like, yo, uh where'd you get that from? Mm. He's like, oh I just made that shit up on the mm. fly. On the fly? On the fly. Oh, on the fly. Wow. And then uh and that same time See? uh the, the 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 teacher gave him notes and said, Hey, fix this, do that. Did exactly the same way with the notes, yeah, and just kept it flowing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it felt felt so natural. And it's yeah. like, how did you come up with this on the fly, and yeah. you know, deliver it so seamlessly? See, and that's the, exactly, and that and that's the type of like, you know, uh, that that's just the type of mindset that, that that's like really important for something like this exactly. because because great right, because like you know we we are giving them the ball and telling them to run with it, you know, in terms of like you know how they want to uh, how they want to go about um, you know how they want to go about like you know like executing and everything you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so 
so with this, so some, something like that when we talk about with Chris, right? You know, being able to like, you know, on the fly, come up with the material and everything, you know, that's what needs to be um, applied here yeah. as well too, because yeah. it's a different area, so. And it's, okay, eight teams, three fucking rounds. It's, vo it's voted by you guys. You guys say who you want in, who you want out. They end up going into the semifinals, going into the finals. And at the very end, um, the final voting is through a uh, payable donation that all goes to charity. Yeah. And the teams involved because this time, you know, actors aren't working. So right. this is the best way for, for them to make a living. Yeah. And to challenge them. Yeah. Um, but I... Ruben Ramirez as well is on there. Yes. I know I'm going all over the place. I'm scatterbrained. Yeah, no, you know, it's I'm scatterbrained as fuck. Yeah. But Ruben, yeah. Ramirez, is, Ruben Ramirez is on there. <laughs> Baby Horchata. Baby Horchata. <laughs> man, he did his thing last night with uh, oh, Beats man. Battle, man. With, with, uh, yeah, with <laughs> yeah sh shout, shout out to Ruben and shout out to John, um, to John Robinson as well, too, man. Uh, this this past Saturday night, we had the, the Beat Fighter um, beat, beat Challenge. Uh, through B side, and it was like you know, it was it was um, it was down south rap versus Midwest rap. Both of them, you know, like you know, represent their, their, their respective respected sides. We had a lot of fun. We had a ton of fun. Man, man. Uh, John brought some heat though. Oh, he, he did. He had he had the Thanos glove, and it felt and you felt that fa that that Thanos energy in there. <laughs> he he brought a lot of heat, man. But hey, but, man. but but they, they they both did a great job. Yeah, man, I, I want to say, baby Ochata, I I ride behind you, but I. I, I gotta give it to John. I, I gotta give it to John. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He, John played "Wipe Me Down" the remix, oh, and, I, and I was like, bro, I'm I'm sold. I'm like, damn, I'm I'm done. Dude. Jesus, take the wheel. You right. got this. You got this. Uh, but uh, who else we got in this project? We got uh, well, they, we got, we had well. You mentioned Chant Chant Chantel earlier, mm -hmm. Chantelli, uh, D'Angelo Smith. Is her uh, is, is gonna be like teaming up with her yeah, as well yeah. too, D'Angelo. I personally, I've had the pleasure of watching D'Angelo really grow as an artist. Um, he was on the project of mine, Black Girl Match She Means War, some years ago. That's when I first met him. And just watching his growth continue is really is, has been really great. And especially what they put together. Yo, oh my god. He <laughs> had me dying, bro. He had me dying. Oh my god, bro. So yeah, so like we're seeing some some really great magic right now. Uh, with 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 those two and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, but, but yeah, but we had them. Um, also, in addition, two people who I'm really uh, I'm really excited about working with again because uh, I just met them this year when we when we did Mind Games, uh, Rebecca Kellner and Richard Inman, yes. as well. Yes, yeah, he dude, killed it on but, on Mind Games, man. But bro, let me tell oh. you, when, when you hang out with them two, like just like on some like on some chill social yeah, shit, yeah. whatever. Oh my God, they, they are like the funniest, like, like they, they need, they need their own show on Comedy Central, just those two together, because their chemistry just as friends is like, is mind-blowingly perfect, man, and it's, you, it's a perfect fit. And you see fit. it on their, on, on, uh, on their skits and yeah, their man. scenes, man, yeah. they're so good. Their chemistry is crazy perfect with each other, man, for real, and just, just, just hanging out with them just as, just as friends, man. They are the funniest two people you can be around, bro. So, and what they and what they're bringing to this tournament as well too is gonna be mm. a lot of heat. So. Yes, yes. I'm interested <laughs> to see that because he killed it on Mind Games. Hell yeah. So I, I'm really, really stoked on that. I'm really stoked on that. Yeah. Uh, who else we got? Let me see. Oh, well, also in addition, we got uh, we got uh, Act Like Rue, and that's uh, Team Martha, um, Martha Moncada, and Lisa and Lisa Michelle. Yes. Yeah. Two. Uh, uh, once again, two really talented, two really talented actresses. Who are really making a lot of noise, you know, in in, in Chicago in the Chicago area and such. Um, Martha is like, you know, like I I, like, I I did you see that um the the little teaser trailer they dropped the other day for for new ties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with Martha, Martha scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, and that's the thing is that like with Martha, like, cause me Martha's like, you know, it's it's, it's so sweet, so mild, and so like, you know, like, you know, she like, can flip it. Yo, she yo, she was it. a straight up badass. Yeah, she, she was uh, she was queen of the yeah. south. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You are like a mob boss right now. So I'm like, I'm like, damn! I know you had that in you. Uh, Lee, and Lisa, in addition too, man, like she really comes through in the clutch. Like she really does, and she and, and like what I like about her, she's got like this really good like spirit about her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Where she's just like so like like every, like 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 everything's in control. Okay. You know, it's, it's in, a, in a really in a really certain type of control. The way how like she approaches whatever she's working with, so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be in good hands. It's gonna be done well as as, as well too, and like and like she also always comes through. So them two together are gonna be really great 
because they obviously like, are veterans. They know how to do this, and they know how to like you know be able to uh, execute well. Look out for that. Look out for that. We also got Teresa and Chrissy. Oh, oh buzzing, the buzzing cousins. cousins. The buzzing cousins. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man, bro. Once once again, going back to what I was talking about in terms of like just like natural chemistry, these two exemplify that. You know, to the fullest as well, too. Like, you know, these are two people that, you know, you could be, when they're together and you're with them in the room and everything with me and social, they'll, they'll, they'll have you cracking up because they, like, really work off of each other so well as well, too. And uh, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to say this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this out there and everything. Um, this is actually an exclusive, y'all. Nobody knows this. All right? Woo. It's an exclusive. Y'all hearing it for the very first time here on, on, the, on the Indie Center podcast. Yes. Buzzing Cousins between... Chrissy Johnston and Teresa Johnson, we are rolling out their podcast next year. We are rolling out their podcast. Yes, it's getting into the yeah. audio airwaves. Yes, it's hell gonna be, yeah. It's gonna be under B Side Studios. It's gonna be called Buzz and Cousins, uh, and yeah, and so this is gonna be a show that's gonna touch on like you know like. You know, like, uh, it's, it's going to be obviously, like, you know, like, talk about, like, you know, pop culture and all yeah, stuff yeah. and everything, but also, like, you know, some pressing issues when it comes to, like, you know, maybe, like, women's issues, maybe when it comes to, like, um, you know, like mental health, yeah. when it comes to love, that's relationships good. and all that stuff and everything. This is something that's, that's really going to be heavy for the ladies. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, women, like, more, like, women-centered like, and everything. Like, lady talk, women talk, yeah, like, exactly. red table. Yeah, exactly. Like, think, red think table. red table talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, with a little bit more flavor and everything like that. Mm. So that's something you want to be, you, you want to look out for, but... The with them two in the tournament is a really great introduction for people to see like how they work work yes, really well together. Sure. Yeah, so that's gonna be like a lot of fun. So be on the lookout for them in the tournament and in the podcast in the near future. Oh man, I'm so excited! I can't wait! I can't yes. wait! We also got Anna and Reina. Yes, yes. Now here's now here's the thing. Now I now I've not met Reina yet. Ah. Uh, this is one of Anna's Anna's uh, close friends, uh, but Anna like really does vouch for her heavy in terms of like you know her artistic abilities. Anna actually um, now I've been I've been wanting to work with Anna for for a little while now. She um, auditioned for Noches de Lupita back in the springtime. This is before uh, this is before COVID actually hit. I think this is probably like like probably a week or so before COVID hit and everything. She auditioned. She put in her uh, her information to audition for it. And Noches de Lupita is a, a play that B side was supposed to do in September, but because of COVID, mm -hmm. you know you know got pushed back a year. And so I saw her audition tape. And I was like, "Yo, okay, like she, okay, like homegirl got some skills. Okay, I see you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying?" And so I was really excited about. It. I'm like, "I'm really looking forward to working with her." Um, I'm already thinking, cooking up ideas in my head of things that we could do out after we're done with Lupita and COVID hit, unfortunately. So when when you and I were putting this together, I was like. We shot to Anna, you know, and I'm, I'm sure Anna's looking for some projects and like, you know, this would be perfect for her. And plus it's an opportunity for us to be able to actually work together with her and everything. Yeah. So I'm like really excited about, you know, seeing what she's able to do with this. Because I'm telling you, like, her audition blew me away and just how hungry she is when it comes to this business. It's, it's, it's really telling. And she's dope. Real. I just saw the video that Ruben just put out with her. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They both bro. have range. Yeah. Oh, great support system Holy right shit. there. Yeah. She killed bro, it. Bro, that, that, whole, that whole Peoria uh, outfit yeah. of actors, dog, they, they coming there's up. There's a lot bro. of talent down there. Yeah, there's they a lot of talent. Up crazy down there in Peoria, Man. bro. It's, it's, it's like, it's like low-key kind of scary, because I'm like, oh, they're they going to take over Illinois. <laughs> Shout out to Peoria. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Shout out to right? Peoria. We also got, talk about Peoria, we got Peoria Zone. We already mentioned them. We got Ruben, and we yes. got Doc Hollywood. Yep. Doc, yep, exactly. Ruben Ramirez, Doc Hollywood, Team Mocha Horchata. I love that name, right? <laughs> uh, and and that's, that, this, this is the thing, too, is that, like, this pairing was, like, I was really excited about this pairing happening. Just because, like, you know, you, you, everyone knows, like, you know, what Ruben does. And, like, you know, we see, like, you know, all his stuff, you know, with comedy and the skits he does. And, like, you know, the filming he, he does as well, too, and everything. But Doc is on that same energy. He, Doc is kind of like a mix between Ruben and Chantelli in mm, terms of, like. I see that. In I terms see of, it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? In terms of, like, energy and creativity and just doing, like, you know, just off-the-cuff shit and everything. Because mm -hmm. Doc Doc will put out, like, like a 30-second like a video. And it will be, like, the funniest 30 seconds you'll ever see. You know what I mean? Because he has no type of, like restrictions or any kind of boundaries when yeah. it comes to like what he wants to do because he actually he, he goes for it yeah he's like that, that's what we want me to do I'm, I'm gonna take the ball and i'm gonna run in the end zone yeah and so i was really excited to see how these two were gonna like you know come together and they did not disappoint at no all. <laughs> no that not, that's, disappoint, bro. not not to do any spoilers but god i was watching one of their clips 
All right, I'm, whatever. I was taking a shit yeah. and I was watching one of your yeah. clips. <laughs> and Just keep it real, bro. I said, ah! My wife was like, what's going on? What happened? <laughs> Nothing, you won't understand. But God, he <laughs> killed it. He killed it. But, man, this is a dope project. Yeah. Guys, stay tuned tonight, 6 p.m. Further information will be dropping with organizations, team names, where we're going to be, how it's going to happen. Yeah. This is going to be so fucking dope, and I want you guys to join us on this ride. And also, also, we can't forget Andre Robinson as well, too. Andre Robinson. Andre Robinson. Oh, my God. As well, yeah. Now, Andre, bro, like, with Andre... Uh, I've been working with him, you know, for for you know for some years now. We first worked together on um, on Broke AF, on Broke as Fuck, you mm. know, the the series, and that's when I was like, holy shit, like this, this like this dude is like untouchable, seriously, bro. But I'm gonna tell you what really what really stood out. We did uh, Last Night Is King a couple years ago. It was a play about the the, the final 24 hours of Martin Luther King Jr.'s life, and there was a, a scene in there. It was a flashback scene of a a conversation. A, a fictional conversation between MLK and Malcolm X. He played MLK and uh, Fox Dorsey. Shout out to Fox Dorsey. He played uh, Malcolm X. And that scene right there stole the entire show. And to this day, bro, and we're talking about like three, four years later, people are still bringing up Andre's performance oh, in dope. that. Because it was, so, it was so intense. And it was just so like, I mean, like, I mean, the knockout was nasty, dude. Like the way how he, how he did uh. it. So like, I mean, and, and his, 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 his uh, artistic acumen is is on is on another level in terms of like you know the way how he approaches projects the way how he delivers the way how he like how serious he is yeah. about the craft itself like my man is the voiceover man is game is yes hard. oh right oh he did the voiceover for film flip man he Duh. killed it and you saw he had like twenty like twenty examples twenty yeah <laughs> you they're know what all saying? different right they're all different I'm like, comedy bro. different angles <laughs> drama different angles yeah, excited man. different angles man but guys tune in indie center B side film flip coming at you. Mo, you got any last words? Uh, I just wanted to, for, th first of all, thank you again, brother, for including me on this love, project, love. brother, for real. Seriously, I love this. We're having a great time putting this all this whole thing together. Um, this, is, this is exciting. The response I'm, receive, I'm seeing just like, you know, directly and indirectly from everyone that's involved is really, is just really out, off the charts. And I feel in, I feel everyone that's going to be watching this is going to be a part of this. They're, they're a part of something special. It's not just the people who are involved with it, but it's also the, the viewing audience that's out there as well, too, that's going to be watching this. Y'all are in for a treat. You guys are in. You guys are going to love this. And you guys are really going to, like, you know, never forget this. I'm telling you, this is going to be amazing. We're going we're, we're, we're to end up, we're going to end 2020 the right way. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to end it the right way, bro. end it with a bang. Yes, sir. Ah. Yes, sir. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Peace. Peace. If you enjoyed this week's episode, please make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay centered on all Indie Center podcast episodes. If you are an independent creator and have a story to share and want to have a sit down, please email me at IndieCenter.podcast at gmail.com. That's IndieCenter.podcast at gmail.com. If you have sponsorship inquiries, I'd love to help local businesses. Please email me at IndieCenter.podcast at gmail.com. Until next Monday, guys. Peace.